Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no art speed paint video. I struggled with um, motivation to draw and only drew a couple things since then, but one super exciting thing that I received at the beginning of the year was a Genshin Impact Kujo Sara fanzine that I was a page artist for. Uh, it was the first time I was accepted to be a contributor and I was over the moon to see my art printed in a zine uh, alongside other amazing creatives, all within a book that other people would purchase. Uh, the zine is called Yatagarasu and uh, a for charity, so the monies made were donated to BirdLife International. I included the Twitter handle on the screen if you wanted to check out the history from when the zine went through interest check, went up for a pre-order, and the other contributors' works from writers, artists, and merch artists. Uh, the last post the mods made also show the receipt of over $1,500 donated to the charity. Uh, so this project has long since been concluded, so you're not able to purchase the zine and the merch bundles anymore, but I'll include a clip of the actual products that came out of the zine at the end of the video. But in terms of the process of being a page artist, I was asked to pitch for concept ideas. My first pitch was a single page mini comic with the first small panel starting with a view of Sara's Tengu Geta sandals and a Geovision and Ito's hand in frame both lying on the ground. In the second small panel, Sara's hand is picking up the vision. Then in the third main panel, it would be a bust up view of Sara with a serious facial expression hand adjusting her tengu mask as she walks away uh, and then the text was going to be from her when thunder strikes quote when she says listen thunder speaks the will of the almighty shogun my next pitch was a single page wide shot illustration of sara holding a bird cage uh, with it open and releasing a raven into the open sky my next concept was another single page illustration. As if in the middle of battle, Sara would be in profile with her arm stretched out, uh, directing a flock of ravens forward with a smirk on her face. And then my last pitch was the one that the mods chose and what you're seeing uh, me draw on screen. A single page mini comic with the first panel where Sara is attending to and caring for a broken winged bird, and then the second panel with a close up of Sara's worried face. I honestly can't remember how I somehow worked out the anatomy for this and all the details as well because if you know Genshin and their character designs, Everyone is super embellished with tons of clothing details and features, and me being the detail-oriented type, I can't help but to draw every single thing with as much accuracy as possible, uh, regardless of whether people will notice those details or not. Uh, it's really about whether I will notice any discrepancies or things that I missed. Uh, and then also drawing birds. Uh, if you saw early on, I just wrote bird in the places where I had to draw a bird. <laughs> I remember struggling on how to draw a broken wing without it looking like it's dead. Uh, I actually revised the way I drew one of the birds because of that. But I figured the mods chose this pitch idea because of the healing, melancholic vibe of it and that it fits the theme of the charity the money was being donated to. Uh, but the process was that we had three check-ins where we sent three progress screenshots of our work before the final submission. Uh, the first progress was uh, to send the idea roughed out with a sketch drafted or piece outlined. Uh, the second progress they expected to see was at least 50% of the drawing completed. Uh, the third progress was to show 75% of the work completed. And then the final submission. 
Uh, all of these spanned within about three and a half months, so we were given ample time during the creation period. Uh, after this, I believe the mods worked on the formatting before posting that pre-orders were open. Which as uh, contributors, uh, the mods gave us updates on how things were looking so far. Uh, and then after the pre-order period was over, uh, they went into production mode. So I just wanted to share what it's like being on the side uh, as a uh, as an artist contributor for a group zine in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> uh, I'm sure other mods handle various zines a bit differently, uh, but that's generally what I've observed based on schedules of other zines. Uh, and uh, because there was a huge controversy in the zine community uh, at the time about money being stolen from other zine efforts, uh, the mods were extra careful for this particular project and very transparent with how much the zine made and how much was ultimately donated to the charity. Uh, so overall, uh, the process was really smooth and I was pleased with how everything turned out. Uh, so about my drawing, I would say this is probably one of the illustrations I'm most proud of. Uh, I had a vision, no, no pun intended, uh, of what I wanted to draw and the flow of the page. Uh, somehow I was able to do it. Uh, even watching this now, and I'm still not sure how I pulled it off, I've taken such a long on and off break with drawing that it's inspiring me to get back on this level. Uh, it really is such a huge time commitment though, because I'm a very slow illustrator and a lot of things during the drawing and rendering process is very frustrating to me, uh, but of course I can't get any better unless I actually draw, so I need to keep reminding myself about that. Uh, but my audience on YouTube is mainly the manga community, so I think this is kind of a fun way to merge the two sides of my channel. Uh, basically, me drawing a manga page, which I would love to do more things like this. I mean, I've drawn a, a few illustrations which you can watch in some of my previous art speed paints where I don't actually use color but just apply black and white tones as a render, uh, the same as we see in manga. But here is the final illustration with the text included. This quote was a couple lines I pulled from her hello and duty voiceovers. The duty of a Tengu warrior is to watch over the mountains and forests. I will honor that commitment. And now I'll show everything that was offered in the zine. Uh, so I received a complimentary contributor bundle, which is that one. And then I had bought a full bundle myself because I couldn't help it. Uh, so I do have duplicates of a handful of things. Uh, I'll open the full bundle first. And first is this enamel pin designed by Ji Zhao. The quality of this pin is really nice. Next is this washi tape design by Bean. Uh, something nice to decorate borders or journals with. Next in the merch bundle is this omamori design by Snowy Pear. Uh, these are like little good luck charms that you can carry around with you. This design is super cute. And this acrylic glitter charm was also designed by Ji Zhao. Uh, so Sara with a little Inazuma statue of the seven and it has the same design on the back side. And then the second acrylic charm was also designed by Bean. It's double-sided, so it's Sara right before she casts her burst attack, and then after, which is pretty cool. Last of the acrylic goods is this standee by Sunbi. I think that's how you say their name. Uh, the drawing is a really nice full-body illustration with a round base that has Kujo Sara and the name of the zine on it, which is a fun exclusive detail. This early bird die cut sticker benefit drawn by a chocolate. And these two die cuts, one in a chibi style, which is cute, drawn by Sunpi, uh, the same artist as the acrylic standee. Uh, the sticker sheet was drawn by Ruru Lalan, uh, so Sara in their cute art style. <laughs> yeah, it looks to have done something mischievous again. And I'll open my contributor bundle, which majority of the items are duplicates I just wanted to have, uh, with the exception of one item. 
I'll show the print stickers and the zine shortly, but it's this collaboration standee that was done with two other fanzines focused on the other two ladies, uh, Raiden and Kokomi. Uh, this was drawn by Ephivria, and they're all dressed up in the cutest festival outfits. Uh, so if you ordered any bundle with a physical zine from all three projects, then you would get this standee. It's a three-piece standee with a background and base. It's so cute with a fireworks background, and I'm so glad I was given the option to add this to my bundle as a contributor benefit. Onto the prints, uh, this sort of alternate fashion illustration is by Snowy Pear. Uh, it also has listed some details about her. And then this holographic print is by Faitham. I love how she's embellished even more uh, with sort of uh, this sort of overcoat and headdress. Uh, it's super dramatic and I really love the holographic effect. This next print is a print version of the zine cover done by uh, Saivia. Uh, this cover is so beautiful and really made the overall zine stand out. I love their art style and the soft colors they chose. I'll do a flip through of the zine itself, which I think the mods did a great job putting it all together. And then here's the table of contents of artists and writers. And then there I am, <laughs> page 42. Uh, I don't know, I just think this is so cool. Uh, as a very small beginner artist, it's nice to be validated every now and then and be selected to be part of a project like this. I've applied to other zines before and my application has never been accepted except for this one. I do want to get back into producing artwork that may be geared towards future zines I want to try to contribute for. But here's my page neighbor, who I'm actually a big fan of their artwork, and then my single page comic illustration. The colors came out really vibrant, which I'm super happy about. I'm glad uh, I actually looked into color and print settings before I started drawing to make sure it looked exactly how I expected it to come out compared to what I saw on my screen. Uh, I printed some of my drawings in the past for fun and the colors came out so different even though digitally they look fine so I'm thrilled with this book print. This whole time I've really just been looking at Genshin zines but I do know there are anime and manga related fanzines that I could try and apply to. But here's a catalog of the merch that was included for the zine. Uh, aside from the digital merch, I showed the rest on here. And then all of the contributors icons, social media handles, and signatures. There I am with a drawing of one of my original characters as my icon. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the speed paint uh, from start to finish, and then seeing the actual illustration in a print format along with the entire zine bundle. Uh, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care!